In this presentation, I'm going to go over the basics of creating a well-organized um, hypermedia visualization and then show an example of um, a distracting visualization of hypermedia information. So there are three main components to this. That includes typography, screen design, and media. And there are components that fall under each of those, but those are the, the main three that I'm going to talk about. So the first one is typography. And most people probably think of this as fonts, which actually is the wrong definition. It's actually typefaces, but fonts is fine. In our world today, we have an unlimited number of fonts or typefaces we can choose from, but um, the industry standard include things like Helvetica, Arial, Calibri, and Veranda, because those are apparently the easiest fonts to read. I really prefer Veranda. It's a large font in general, and it has very straight, rigid lines for the most part, um, and I think it's very easy on the eyes, and that's what this presentation is in. So you should choose one of those to present your information. The next one, and I think this is one that a lot of people don't think about, is your line length. You'll notice on my right hand side of the screen that I have very short lines. In fact, probably the average number of words is five per line. Um, <clears throat> if you were to stream a text, uh, a line of text across the screen, like a paragraph, um, it would be very distracting and you know, sometimes actually you can get lost going from one end to the other of the computer. And so you need to try and box things in. It actually depends on the age of the reader itself. If you have very young readers, you should have very scrunched line lengths. You know, the older you get, of course, you can have uh, longer. And the other asset or, or aspect of this is um, emphasizing uh, text with some of the standard things such as bolding, underlining, uh, italicizing, and highlighting so that readers can uh, zoom in and understand that that's important. Um, just like how I've underlined in that number one category those uh, font types. One of the other things that you can include in presentations is the use of media, whether that be sound or images. Right, so I have an image over here that was a free image, and it relates to typography. But also I have a, it's clickable, um, it will actually take us to a video about typography. I'm not going to click on it, but it's very short, um, about a minute and a half. And when you use media, you want to make sure that it's as quick and to the point as possible and pertains to what you're talking about. The next aspect is screen design. One of the first things I want to make sure I mention is you'll notice that um, I have been using a similar color theme or pattern throughout the presentation. I've been using these muted colors, a lot of the greens, the blues, the yellows, as well as the little images. I think that that's incredibly important it creates uniformity and um, continuity with your presentation of information and it's not distracting. When you change the color patterns up, it becomes distracting and I'll show an example of that. The amount of information you present is incredibly important. You need to um, decide what's important and get that information on the page because too much is distracting, obviously. It's also important to find a way to group information together so that your reader knows what pieces fit together. And you'll see how I have done that here on this screen. I have my heading of screen design, my subheadings below that, and then below each of those I have some text uh, that fits in with that specific information. So it's really easy to follow where this information fits. And I have it in a vertical pattern here. It's not all strewed about the screen. You can see it very well. And then the last one is organization. So <clears throat> I have this image on the right that's very generic and it kind of just shows a, a web page maybe and how things are blocked together um, in a clear organizational pattern. Um, it's important to have uh, page divisions and boundaries. And one of those aspects deals with white space. You notice on my screen that I have a background that is white. Um, I have spacing between my main sections um, that are similar. Um, and it's very pleasing to the eyes to have this. I have a boundary around the outside that's white. Um, it just looks clean and crisp and sharp, and it's not 
it doesn't hurt the eyes to look at it. So utilizing white space as, as much as you can is very useful. You want to steer away from having backgrounds that are crazy colors, purple, red. You want to stick with a very simple color pattern. So here's an example of a poor or a cluttered visualization. First of all, that the typeface is terrible. It's a some form of a cursive. You can barely read it. <clears throat> it's incredibly long across the screen. That's incredibly distracting. I've also highlighted some text at the very bottom that now you can't even really see. Blends so much in with the white, it's almost bright. I've also included a picture at the bottom that you can barely see. Um, if you use media, you need to be able to see it. It needs to be large enough to understand what you're looking at, and this one's much too small. So this is distracting. Here's another example of distracting. We have too large of a heading. We have a picture that has nothing to do with the information being presented. We've varied from our color pattern. We have this dark standard red here for no reason. And you've got text that's too long at the bottom. There's no organizational pattern to it. Um, information isn't grouped in any way. It's just kind of strewn about the page. See, now this is pleasing to the eye. We've come back to these five main things. This looks so much better than the previous screen. First of all, the typography. We've got our veranda usage here. Screen design. Um, it's clearly organized, right? We have our sections here with our color pattern. Uh, media, make sure that if we're using uh, media, it might convey the information in a different way. You want to make it concise. White space, again, here I have uh, similar divisions between these topics. Uh, the boundary around the outside, it just looks very nice. And the color pattern is back, right? You should try and maintain some kind of consistent color pattern. It, again, helps with the cohesiveness of the whole presentation and isn't distracting.